For me, I don't, I don't work by chisel or hammer or paintbrush. I work with mathematics as the, as the paintbrush, I suppose, is, is an analogy. The teams of programmers that over 20 years have written the software that I needed to use, um, the millions of lines of code that needed to be produced and tested, the, um, the, the, the mass of technology and human ingenuity coalescing into this, this point. Okay, let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, should we wander? <laughs> so, so basically, um, we live in an age where computational power has overtaken the capabilities of the human brain. And I don't know how you feel about it, you know, but the reality is that um, in, in our daily lives, in, in the use of Google, in the use of Amazon, in your use of Facebook, mathematical algorithms in the background are influencing your behavior much more than you imagine. So I'll, I'll, I'll move on to this. So we're controlled by algorithms. So this is an art piece that a few days ago went viral on the internet. It was a complete shock, it was blogged, um, and suddenly the whole thing went absolutely crazy. And so this is a piece of mathematics. And, and in a way, it represents this moment in human history. This art piece is like a, it's a welcoming message to the Pi generation. What's your interpretation of it, man? What do you think? When you see that, what do you think? I just see a hand now, but I mean, I'm just like quite fascinated about the way it's been thought about rather than anything. And so actually, a piece of art isn't made by a single artist, but it's a collaboration between a whole lot of people with amazing disciplines, you know. <laughs> so basically, um, that Damien Hirst over there, that is a cow in formaldehyde. Um, I can't quite see the algorithm in that piece at all. And I think the main algorithm that Damien Hirst managed to play was financial markets. Actually, he's more of a financial genius than a... Um, how genius. There's a massive debate around this whole subject, but the point is, and the reality is, that algorithms and mass computational, the mass computational power that computers bring, have reached a point in society where they control humanity to a certain extent, and so this is the birth. This piece is called Rejuvenation, and it's about the birth of Generation Pi and the death of Generation X and Y.